Hello, welcome back to PlayStation Access at E3. Uh, I'm Dave. I'm with Rob. Hello. We are tired, Rob. We're jet lagged. We've been working hard. But the Bethesda conference has just woken us up. Maybe not <laughs> looking at us. <laughs> but that was an amazing conference. There was... Say Rage what? 2, Prey DLC, a new Wolfenstein game, a new Doom game. They confirmed they're making an Elder Scrolls game. Well, uh, <laughs> Elder Scrolls there's, 6. There's a new, an entirely new IP, Starfield. An entirely new Starfield. I mean, I thought it was Starfield. over. I thought it was over. I thought it was over. And then they were like, wait a second, but there's more. Starfield. And I was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. And then it was definitely over. But then it was like, the one more thing. I mean, ah. Oh. And the music started. Da, da, da. I honestly just, I can't wait. Anyway, this, this is not about Elder Scrolls 6. It's not, because the big thing, the jewel in the crown probably, the, the thing that everybody was most excited about yeah. was Fallout 76. Yes. We finally got a decent bit of information about what it is, and it's a, a really new idea. I heard that a lot. You know, Todd Howard said, this is a new thing. It's new for us. It's new for you. We're all kind of scared. Um but there's five things that we've pulled out straight away that we're very excited about doing. You've got the list. Yeah, five things. Let's talk about we're it. We're really excited to do in Fallout 76. That, yes, you know you couldn't really do in a Fallout game before. And no. the first of those is obviously being able to play with your friends. Yeah, I mean that's very very exciting. It's yeah. something that people have talked about for years. They've talked about it in Skyrim. They've talked about it in Fallout. The idea of going. In a Bethesda world, you know, yeah. like an open world full of quests and adventure and, and unexplored areas to find stuff. Like, to be like able you to would that. expect in a Bethesda RPG. Exactly. Like That's the exciting thing, to be yeah. able to do that with your friends. I think the Bethesda bit is the magic bit here. Because yeah. there are games, there are big open world games where you can have fun with your friends. I think... I mean, <laughs> yeah, the concept of <laughs> that's online not multiplayer is not a new that thing. That exists. But I, be, being Bethesda, able to do it with Bethesda games is, is cool. Definitely. Like, you know, they create worlds unlike any other games developer, really. Like, they have that special something. They just know how there to make... There is something about exploring and discovering things in a Bethesda RPG that I can't quite articulate. Yeah. And I've often thought about it. What is it that makes it so much fun and so satisfying to discover things? Yep. Being able to do that with other people... I think it's going to be amazing. Yes, absolutely. Just, you're not going to know what you're going to get every time you log in and play. Exactly. And I think that also is reflected really well, and this is cool, just with the setting, which is that yeah. it's the idea being that you are one of the first um, explorers or yeah. the first sort of like settlers to exit the vault after the, the, uh, the disaster. Because it's set in 2076, right? Yes. So you are, this is before like Fallout 3 and 4, um, the post-apocalypse has, you know, well and truly got underway. There are settlements there. There are raiders and ghouls. Exactly. And There's this, seems, this is before all of that. This is a prequel to every other Fallout game that's been made. So those settlements, those things you know from Fallout, don't exist yet. And I think that's really exciting it's because, cool. because you know, even in Elder Scrolls games, you are ex you're exploring a land that exists, like you say, that, that has yeah. settlements, that has like a culture and stuff. This is going to be exploring something where all that has been destroyed, yeah. and you're the first to come back and find like what exists here, yeah. what's happened. Um, it's like a blank canvas, exactly. It's like yeah, a world before super mutants. So that's maybe. doubly exciting, and then yeah. to be able to do that with your friends and go on quests together, enjoy the story together, go and find other people together, go and kill some bad things together. Like um, I think an, an important thing to mention as well is what Todd Howard said about. You're still keeping the feeling of Fallout. You're not going to have hundreds and thousands of players on at the same time. I thought that was this. This great. is a world that you did say is, is four times bigger, I think, than Fallout Four. Yes. So we're talking a, a huge open world mm -hmm. that will only have maybe dozens of players in it. Yes. So you're not going to be constantly seeing someone jumping around. It's not going to be a mega. It's you, not going to be a shoot fest. You've basically. got to have that worry, haven't it's you? It's going to be exploration. as soon as you hear like every other player is a human, and yeah. you know, and I was just thinking, oh god, that, exactly it's be that. Intense, isn't just it? someone just dancing in the corner. <laughs> like every, I go like, oh, look at this amazing vista, and there's someone just jumping and crouching and dancing. But it's going to make it amazing encountering other players as well, because you'll be there. Maybe we will all play together. The access. I would crew, hope so. I would hope so. And we'll just you hear a noise like oh, some people. Some people. other people are here. Will they you be won't friendly? Know whether they'll be, they won't be friendly. Come they on. Won't be friendly. Just gonna, as soon as you see someone who's not you or your friends, it's shooting time. The thing is, that is 
true but then it won't always be true and there will be those amazing moments and that's like the amazing thing yeah. about sort of mul- online multiplayer and 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 you know Todd Howard said there were there are no there are very few rules which is an in- an interesting thing to say yeah. um but you know there will be those amazing moments where you pe- you meet people where they don't shoot you straight away and then you go on some incredible adventure together and have this like amazing kind of story amazing. happen um yeah there was lots of exciting stuff around that um about there being sort of only 100% dedicated servers. You're never going to change server. You're never going to lose your progress. Yeah. Um, he said it was like a soft core uh, survival game. So you don't, you know, there's no permadeath. You don't have to start a new character every time. You don't lose everything. Um, so lots of interesting kind of takes yes. on something that already exists. I think it's it's interesting how they've crafted their version of this kind of like a, a sort of an MMO. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if you'd say MMO because dozens no. of players... It feels a bit smaller and a bit more intimate, even yeah. in this massive world. I mean, there are other things we've only start, we've only done one We're thing on so one. far. We're still so on number one. We're still on number one. We're excited, and this is very important. Um, base building. Yes, we had a little bit of this in Fallout Four. Well, a, g- a could, decent chunk of it. You could build settlements in Fallout Four and yes, manage settlements. You could. Now you can build with far more freedom. You can yes. build huge bases and towns. Wherever Anywhere you want, you like. That was the big thing, I think. Wherever yeah. you want, like um, having this huge map to explore. Yeah. I mean, that's great. Just thinking, like, well, I will be as soon as I get in, I will be thinking, where am I going to build my base? I will be walking around, enjoying, like, exploring. But at the same time, having that thought of maybe here. Will I build it here? <laughs> I don't know. Will this be like a good place for my base? Beach on holiday, wondering where you're going to put your towel. Exactly. <laughs> but knowing that that has not been sort of predetermined by the developers now, like not, this yeah. is an approved building area. You could build here. Like yeah. just, that's really exciting. Maybe we could build in like a radioactive swamp. That doesn't so, sound like a great but base. But no one would come and invade. It'd that's be right. really difficult to come and kill us, wouldn't it? But we'd also die immediately. So. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know, maybe, but maybe, maybe you, you could, could find do, the technology. Maybe, yeah, maybe there's cool technology. We know we're speculating here. Yeah, there could be special radiation resistant materials you could build your houses out of. Imagine building a base with your friends. I mean, it's basically just being a kid again. Yeah, building a base with your friends and then having random people come and try and attack you. I mean that that in is in itself is like a whole game that people would enjoy playing. Yeah. Just build your own base. You know, they, I'm sure there's going to be defenses and things that you can build, even yeah. if it's just fences, <laughs> you know, <laughs> things, barbed wire and stuff, and manning your base and protecting it from like raiding mm-hmm. uh, other players is going to be just incredible. So, um, point number three. Yes. Uh, this is obvious, but we should talk about it anyway. Exploring a new world. Yeah. It's a new setting. It's set in West Virginia. Um, as we said before, this is bef- this is before all of the things you know from Fallout previously. It's so, before all the Fallouts. So there won't, you know, there's not going to be loads of raiders there. You're going to be no. exploring a brand new world, four times the size of Fallout 4. It's really hard to which, envisage um, that. Yeah. It's, whilst, just big. it's very, very big. Whilst also having, and was I, am I right? 16 times the detail I don't know what that means but it sounds good doesn't it I mean it, it just sounds good <laughs> I like it that's a lot of times that's and a lot of detail it is a lot of detail but just as we said exploring in Bethesda games is a wonderful joy it's one yeah. of my favourite things you know I absolutely love exploring open worlds in Bethesda games and you can do it if you want on your own so you don't yes. have to play with your friends that's you very, can that's play very true. Single player, if you want, and because of the the scarcity of other online players, you can have that traditional Fallout experience of leveling up, exploring, finding new things, yeah, on your own if you like, and that that is the fact that you can play it like a normal Fallout game and is very exciting. Too. Speaking of the setting, um, just based on what we saw so far, I think it seems a much more um, Maybe not welcoming, but a nicer, <laughs> Wholesome. a nicer place to be. I yes. found, I found Fallout Four started to ground, ground, grind me down a little bit because it's very bleak, it's isn't so it? So bleak, very bleak, and, and West Virginia seems a bit more leafy, a bit yeah. more like, a bit more like everyone's left rather than everyone's been horribly killed and everything's yeah. dilapidated. <laughs> and it's, it, I think it's really interesting for a Fallout game that kind of like the, the technology is all new and pristine. Like yeah. the vault looked. Although it people had lived like in it for nice 25 vault. years, yeah. it looked nice and clean. Didn't Your clothes look... were like new and clean. And that's an interesting kind of take on yeah. Fallout to, 
to it, to be exploring. And it it's leads new. into it leads into point four, which is uh, taking on lots more new monsters. And yes, because we're very used to taking on death claws or sorry running away from death claws yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've watched me play yeah uh fighting you know clearing out towers of super mutants and ghouls and yeah. feral ghouls and raiders and yes and quite a lot of the monsters they said were kind of based on folklore that exists from in, in, West in the Virginia. region itself yeah so you're gonna get we saw like a monster that looked like a massive sloth for instance there was a sloth monster there definitely was. there was a huge toothy toad yeah which was kind of dragging itself along the floor there was like a bat creature there was um it's basically a lo- all the wildlife gone wrong and bad yes but that is great and again it's yeah. about I, I think that really works again with this theme of just exploring and Maya being Lux. the first i forgot my oh, yeah my oh yeah i hate my look so much being the first out of the vault means that you get you know first dibs on where to build your base <laughs> but you also have to discover all the horrendous creatures yes. that have been created by the radiation yeah so you know it's a it's a double-edged sword 0.5 dave maybe the most exciting <laughs> unusual yes. brilliant stroke of genius you can obtain codes <laughs> <laughs> I'm stretching this out. You yeah. can fire some nukes. You can fire nukes. You can fire atom bombs. I think he said there are 12 nuclear sites, yes. or nuclear missile silos around the map. Yeah. This very big map. And you can... You can choose your target and you can fire them anywhere. Yeah. So, I don't know, maybe if you're fed up with your town that you've built... <laughs> That's one way to do it. Get rid of that. Well, there did seem to be kind of like... Because we were like... You know, it doesn't sound like there's a good reason to do that, does it? Other than to harm someone else. Yes. But apparently, you know, that there are also, you're going to get resources from that, yeah. like unusual rare, rare materials. materials. So firing a nuclear weapon into something will do things to the world that it wouldn't have otherwise. So maybe if you're building your base, you need some specific material to do something. Yeah. You're just, you're going to have to nuke something else first. Now, whether or another not that's... Another person's town. Another person's town. It did have like a little rabbit thing just <laughs> yeah it's like a little beaver Why or something wasn't it a gopher an animal yeah i don't know Maybe. i don't know if you can go you can zoom that far in on the map yeah like i'm looking for a rabbit no but yeah it's uh, i mean that's uh the, again like it, in a world with very few rules it's going to be interesting <laughs> to see how that plays out and how people use it i mean the the immediate thought is just nuking I mean, either your friends or your enemies but um, i just i mean nuking having that mega turn in fallout 3 is is to this day, one of my favourite things I've ever been able to do in a yeah. video game. Just seeing that mushroom cloud just ripple on the horizon. Yeah. Firing a fat man launcher has always been amazing. Oh, yes. But now you get to have full control over just how and where you use your nukes. And I love that in in, in itself, it sounds like a mini quest. Yeah. Or not maybe not a mini quest, but you mean you have to obtain the codes. You know, you have to like... Go into the silo, activate yeah. the system, choose your target stuff. It's not like kind of just flicking a switch. Yeah, it, I like that. It's the, it's obviously not going to be an easy thing to do. Mm. It's going to have to be something you're going to have to work at. And I think and that'll also, make it all the more sweet when you fire it. Of course, the danger that someone could use a nuclear weapon against you. Yes, yeah, that Which will is be, my, be terrifying. That will be my concern. Just, yeah, I know. As soon as I like eventually find where I'm going to build my base yeah, and I make it all nice. I just get something just right. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, that's just perfect. And the siren will go off. I'm assuming you get a siren. Maybe you don't, so. maybe you don't even get a siren. You're just, just walking <laughs> along and then, <laughs> but yeah, that'd be sad. I mean, the, the, it, it really was like an amazing presentation. Um, I think there's going to be lots more to come. It sounds, yeah. it, it sounds like, um, not a completely new concept, but a very new concept for Bethesda. For and I think Fallout, yeah. their take on it is going to be really exciting. Like we cool. said, like a Bethesda world with an online, not even component, it's like focus really, yeah. um, is like an amazing idea. It's going to be inc- incredibly exciting to see how it all plays out. And, and it's coming really soon. It's coming in November. It's coming in November. And before that, there's going to be a beta as well. Yes, there is. Yeah. I mean, Fallout is... it's almost tangible now it's yes. almost in our hands and we didn't even know we were getting it until you know, you know a few a weeks week ago, ago or something so yeah. really really exciting wow well, there we are there are five things we cannot wait to do in fallout 76 let us know in the comments if you're excited for the game i can't imagine why you wouldn't be and please stay with us on playstation access because we have absolutely loads more coming up from e3